least from a small town. <laughs> this gets worse every week. Oh, it sure does. We got to be able to hire an announcer one of these days. Hey, I forgot to mention where Daphne Gray is going to be book signing. Uh, she's going to be at 7 o'clock tonight at the Tampa Christian Supply at 2908 West Hillsboro in Tampa. Uh -huh. On Hillsboro and Tampa at 8 o'clock tonight. Now, you're making uh, tortellinis with peas and sausage, right? That's right, and a cream sauce. And a cream sauce. Yeah, All I right. Like I love it. It's Did you know I was in the Junior Miss Pageant? You were in the Junior that, Miss Pageant. That's a fact. For three years in a row. I hesitate to ask. What no, were you doing? I was the Master of Ceremonies. Oh, really? Yeah, New up, Jersey. Up in New Jersey? Matter of fact, Linda Giallanella from another station here in town was one of the judges. She was Miss New Jersey. You're putting me on. You didn't know that, did you? No, I sure that? didn't. Yeah, junior Mint. Pageant. Junior Miss. The Junior, junior Mint pageant. <laughs> okay. Jeez. Anyway, what we've got to do is we've got to start here with the sausage. Before I do that, i got to tell you, there's a couple of new ones out. There's a new sausage called Irish Garlic Sausage. Irish Garlic? Which is, I haven't tried yet, but I bet you it's, it's phenomenal. Be powerful. Then there's the new one. Now that's Italian. Now this one has made with real mozzarella, Romano cheese, red and green peppers, Chablis, and imported Chianti wine. Ooh, man, that's great. Isn't that something? That's yeah. what that's what we're cooking here today. Okay. Wait till you taste this. This is phenomenal. Well, I'm ready. First, this is all Johnsonville sausage. What we've got to do first, I've got to get this out of the pan. This comes from little town in Wisconsin of that's about right. 250 people where their main thrust in life is putting out the best possible sausage and, and, and they call it Johnson. Bill. Without a doubt they do that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna deglaze. You like that, huh? <laughs> you ought to do the announcement. Well I just found out that there's only 250 people in the whole town of Johnsonville and they got and a they, whole and sausage they all, named they all work there. All right, yeah. what, what we're gonna do is we're gonna deglaze the skillet with chicken stock. That's one cup of chicken stock. Right. And what I need to do is I need to put a cup of milk in there. We're gonna use skim milk Believe it or not, oh, let me get the oh, recipe. No. Where did I put the recipe? Here it is. This is only 8.6 grams of fat. How about that? 8.6 grams. Yes, pay attention. Whoa, wait a minute. Well, I got to have get... a tough time doing two things. 8.6 grams of fat. How much in this cup recipe? did you say? One cup. One cup. One cup. Okay. Why do they put the metric thing on the other side when most people are right-handed? That's and pour because. This way? See the way you're holding this? Oh, yes. See the way you're holding this? Notice where your hand goes. Yeah, but you can't see that. You can't see the cup. This is yes, like two hundred and twenty-five right, metric whatever. Look through there. What well, you can see, see it over there. Yeah, but you're looking well, at it backwards. But it would have been more practical <laughs> to put the cup thing on this side. Well, now you got more than a cup. No, it's just okay. at a cup. Now, what you what you need to do is put some cornstarch in it because we're going to use this. Uh, we're going to use that to thicken it, and use three tablespoons of cornstarch. Make sure they're level. Three yes. tablespoons. Is that the tablespoon? That's a tablespoon. Okay, three tablespoons. Okay. You got to do it today. We're running short here. Okay, there's okay. one. There you go, one. There's two. Two. And here's, whoop. Three, that's good, that's good. Three. 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 Okay, now you mix that together real good. Okay? And that's going to form the thickening oh, agent. It's stuck on the side. Boy, this stuff really is like plaster. Uh-huh. Wait a minute. Okay. Okay, doing very well. Moving along. I need you to open the peas. Open the peas. Okay, we're going to put peas in this. All and right. This goes in here, and this will thicken. It'll make a brown, thick gravy. Okay? Now, you know you know why you always put the cornstarch in the milk before you put it into the hot ingredients. Do you remember that? Is this a joke? No, this is not a joke. What is it? Why? That's so you don't, so you don't, uh, it doesn't come out lumpy. Oh, you okay. You don't want lumpy you sauce. Put, all right, wait a minute. Hey, remember that? Yeah, just one second. Okay, These you want to open the peas, please? I'm trying to open the peas. Okay, I please think open the peas. To... There we go. Okay. All right. All right, you got the peas open? Peas are open. Okay, the peas are open. Put a half a bag of peas in there. Or a half, half a bag? Yeah, half a bag. And it has to be exactly. <laughs> Did you uh, count oh, the oh, peas? Oh, oh, oh. No, you went six peas over. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. All now you right. notice it's getting nice and thick. Isn't that nice? Oh, that is. See how nice and thick that is? Yeah. Okay. Those little black things in there. I, oh, because I didn't know I was on the second segment. That's the cheese. We overcooked the sausage, which That's... was Joe's fault because he what? didn't tell me I was in the second segment. <laughs> Could you please grate up some uh, grate up some cheese yes. for me? Cut what kind the cheese. of cheese? This is mozzarella, that, right? No, that is that is not mozzarella. This that is. is uh, guess what is again. That? Parmesan. Parmesan. Okay. All right. Parmesan. Beautiful brown gravy. Okay. We're gonna okay, take so a break. So we have here? to take a break now and come back. Okay, let me slip right down here. I'll leave that cheese right where it is if you can follow me here because I want to show you something that's really remarkable from Johnsonville and it's called Table for Two. 
Now, these are dinners for two that can be made by just boiling them in about 10 minutes. There are no preservatives. They are fresh, never frozen, and you'll find them at your grocery store. I got a letter from somebody that said, I got uh, Winn-Dixie and Publix in my neighborhood. Can I get them there? Yes, indeed. And if they don't have them there, say, hey, where's the table for two from Johnsonville? They come in seven different varieties. This is the chicken Italiano with vegetables and linguine. What a quick, convenient table for two that tastes great from Johnsonville. Try it. I'm Jenny Jones. Are you happy with the way Amanda treats you? Yes, I am. We're happily married. But his family hates his wife. You said that she is taking him away from the family. And the feeling is mutual. I'm not going to believe nothing that they say. The animosity is escalating. Everybody hates everybody practically here. Is there a solution in sight? I think Freddie's mother and his sister should stay out of their business. Thank you. Watch Jenny Jones today at 4, followed by News Channel 8's Live at 5. Critics agree that Disney magic strikes again. Operation Double Drop is hilarious. And pound for pound, the biggest movie of the summer. Disney's Operation Double Drop. Rated PG. Starts Friday, July 28th at a theater near you. Right now, buy your furniture from Roberts and get 12 months same as cash. That means you pay no interest for 12 full months. Save on furniture for the living room, dining room, bedroom, every room in your home. Save on sofas, love seats, leather furniture, tables, chairs, dinettes, beds, dressers, recliners, accessories. Buy now and pay no interest for 12 months. Hurry to Roberts now and take advantage of 12 months, same as cash. Low prices, great service, nobody beats Roberts. Back here to finish up our tortellinis with... Uh... Johnsonville sausage, and I've got all my lemon or my onions are cut here. You're doing good. Boy, this thing really is a great little knife. Isn't it a good knife? Now, what we did is we put some aniseed in here. That's a licorice oh, flavor. It tastes like licorice. Yes, it's Ugh. delicious. But look at this. Put this over the tortellinis. Beautiful brown sauce. Okay. All right. The cheese goes around the outside. Around like the outside. Yeah, for presentation. All right. The green onions go in the center. In the middle. Very good. Okay, and you can top that. Well, we don't have time to chop this. Do we have time to chop sure, it? Sure, sure. Okay. <laughs> chop that quickly. All right, and then the sausage get placed around here. And it's a really delicious, hey, we don't have quick time to chop this. recipe. Well, here, that's good, that's good. Let's put okay. them on. There you go. That's what it looks like. It's a beautiful looking dish, and it's called Cream Johnsonville Tortellinis with Peas. Cream Johnsonville tortellinis with peas. Long name, quick recipe. What does tortellinis mean anyway in, in Italian? Tortellinis mean tortellinis. No, I don't. We don't know either. <laughs> it means little turtles. <laughs> little turtles, yes. Uh, okay, you can go at it here, it Debbie. It's very good. There are people watching, wanting to know: Does this taste as good as it looks? Its presentation here. She whips a whole tortellini in her mouth. <laughs> and uh, yeah, Isn't that good. Mm -hmm. You like that? Hey, she likes it. Now, if you'd like to get a copy of that recipe. Send a stamp self-addressed envelope to Cream Johnson's with Peas, Box 888, Tampa 33601, and we will send you the recipe and show you how you can make your very own tortellinis. Debbie, they must be excited back there. This is the first time they've ever... Have a, have a bite of the sausage. This is the first time your dialysis patients have ever seen you up close eating. You get a close-up of her face while she's eating and chewing here. Probably has things in her teeth and everything. They don't get to see that down at the dialysis plate. Yeah, for sure. Debbie did a great job. And let's hear it for Charles Knight and his tortellini. We'll be back with more in a moment on Harrison Company. Don't go away. <laughs> oh, it's the end of the show. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, don't go. Wait, 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 wait. Show's over? Yeah, I forgot. We didn't have a break. We don't have a break here, okay? So we won't be back in a minute. No, we won't be back in a minute. No, we're getting ready. I, I've got a couple of things I have to say before we go. How much time have we got to go? Because I'm going to... Oh, okay. wait, wait, i got to hurry because Joe was supposed to go with us to Canton. You yes, know, you and I are going, going to watch Leroy Selman get into the Hall of Fame. And because of his girlfriend, right. she doesn't want him to. He's not going. What a wimp. Bad what way. a wimp. Bad way to start off a That is terrible. I can't believe it. Joe, you, you don't want to start a relationship Jack like Jack Harris's wardrobe is provided by Steinmark. The look, the name.